that's my trash, you the maid, so you back him. Ah, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Hey plummies, it is me, George, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hope that you're all doing well. In today's video, I am giving a makeover to the one and only Caliente sisters, that is Dina and Nina. Um, these two Sims, oh my god, have in the Sims franchise, they're easily like some of my favorites of all time. They've been in the franchise forever, I swear. Um, I love Dina and Nina because they're just so fiery. They're just so like sassy and I love it. Um, they're fierce. They got a fierce personality and they've got such a bold fashion sense that actually this was difficult. It was a difficult makeover. So pretty much um, when I get their makeover, this is an alpha CC makeover and I feel like to me, this is my interpretation of what the Caliente sisters should be if they were given like a makeover with like Alpha CC. I know like, you know, I think like fashion is such like a, it's such a personal thing. I don't think like, you know, it's good for people to criticize, you know, other people's interpretations of what Sims should look like. This is my go of it. Um, and if you don't like it, well, I am sorry. <laughs> but this is my um, idea of what they would look like. Um, I may do like, oh my God, let me just say like, when The Sims, like they were already kind of fugly when they were released in this like Sims 4 base game. Like they weren't too, too bad. Well, I don't know. They, they well, I mean, they kind of were bad to be honest, but they made them worse. Oh my God, I mean, Nina, sorry, Dina is okay, I guess. Like, she was okay. Um, but Nina looked so ugly. Oh my god. Like, when I heard that they were doing, like, a towny refresh and the Calientes were like, I was like, yes, girl, get out, yes. Um, but no, that, like, I, my excitement dropped, like, the, the carnival ride where you go up and then it just, like, suddenly just goes down really fast. That was my excitement peak, and then I went right back down. I am sorry, but in my opinion, they just looked so disastrous and so fugly, and they need help. They need help. They need the surgery. We need to, we need to, like, oh my god, we need to fix them. We need to help them out. Um, but no, back, back to what I was saying. Um. They had very drama-filled storylines, so yeah, I'm excited to, you know, give them a new look and all that stuff. Um, for those who don't know, they, Dina and Nina, they both appeared in The Sims 2, and yeah, like I said, they've been a part of The Sims franchise for a very long time, and um, they're actually not even full-blooded sisters. They're half-sisters. Um, that's a fun fact for you. They're half-sisters. Nina is kind of the bit more... She's an introverted one, but she's also mysterious. So you'll see... I think I um, had an easier time giving a makeover to Nina. Because even though, yeah, she's like introverted and mysterious, she's also a bit more edgy. Like, she's a bit more edgy. She's not as girly. I think Dina is way more girly, but also scandalous. She's like a scandally girly type, if that's even, like, a theme. I don't even know. But Nina, yeah, she is a bit more edgy, a bit more, like, you know, kind of, like, rocky kind. So, yeah. And then Dina's, like, the outgoing gold-digging bitch. So, <laughs> so, it worked out so well. Um, you know, they always just bring out a bit of drama with them, and we love to see it, especially when it comes to relationships. Oh my god. We all know that they'd be swooning over Donatherio from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yes. Um, so yeah, they're just like wild, honestly. Dina is, you know, she's ambitious, and she, you know, is trying to marry Rich. I made sure, I kind of, I was really, like struggling with Dina's dress because I wanted to do like the black classic dress but I mean there was a few good selections of dresses but none of them were really speaking to me so I mean I did my best 
Um, she looks good. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I'm, re I'm impressed. I'm really happy with how she came out. Um, but yeah, it was just like really hard. I was kind of tossing between like the Gucci dress, the one with the Gucci belt, but then I was like, eh, that's a bit too classy for her. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think that she would definitely, if she was to wear like a designer clothes, she'd probably wear Dior or something or Prada. I don't know what she would wear, but yeah, I didn't think she was kind of like that Gucci. When I think of Gucci, I think of like Nancy Landgrab. Or, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, they kind of like, they had a thing with Mortimer Goth and also Don Lothario. And I know that in The Sims 2, Bella Goth disappeared. And there are subtle hints that Dina and Nina may have been involved in the disappearance of Bella Goth, which is still one of the unsolved mysteries. And probably the biggest mystery in the sims franchise which i wonder if they're actually gonna like resolve that maybe in the sims movie that'd be off um but yeah you just you never know i mean like with dina yeah like i said she is all about the ambition and the luxury of just being that girl that is very confident with herself very outgoing uh i mean she's always been depicted in that way she's not afraid to like you know have her charm and she's a girl that's out there to get what she wants and i can totally totally take inspiration from um you know she's out here for the money for the love or both or whatever she's just like that you know what she is she's like a classic social climber like she's like she's like a social climber she's climbing up that ladder but you know you have to admire her determination. I mean, you gotta admire her. Let's just be real. Like, she, she's a determined queen. Um, and yeah, so with her makeover, I lean towards like her being flashy. And she's like, I tried to have the girly, flashy, glamour style, but you know, also kind of like very seductive. Um, she needed to look a bit more updated. You know, the 2000, this is like the 2024 classic. Well, not really 2024 versions, but their classic, um, their classic appearance taken into The Sims 4 in a more of an updated way. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, you know, she's like, she's got the slick, like the blonde hair with like the volume and all that stuff. Um, and she's like standing out. I gave her more like a nudie lip and all that because I thought that it really looked good on her and she wore nude lips, I'm pretty sure, in The Sims 2. So yeah, and it kind of like complemented her blonde hair as well. I was gonna give her like a red lip, but I was like, eh, we'll save that for Bella Goth. I think that's more of a Bella Goth trademark to be honest, but it could be also Dina. Could be Dina, but I think it fits more with Nina. And her outfit is Attention a Grabby, so you best believe she is going to slay in my save file. Um, now we, let's move on to, let me talk about Nina. Okay, so with, with Nina, like I said, she's a bit more of the reserved one, but she, you know, she's still confident in her own way. Just because that someone is reserved doesn't mean that they're, like, you know, confident or anything like that. Um, I think with with Nina, she isn't like, she's not like a play sort of girl. She kind of is, but not as much as Dina. Like, she actually is more focused on her romantic life. Like, she's not like the girl that's chasing wealth like her sister is. She's more like, how can I put it? She has like this contrast between that and then like her own dynamic. I don't know. It's it's hard to pinpoint with, with these Sims. <laughs> um, but for Dina's look... I kind of went for something a bit bold out of the packet. The pants were a custom set from another, so the top and the pants would actually go together, but I thought it would look nice. I thought that she would definitely wear pants. Um, I mean, she could totally wear skirts and stuff as well, but I just thought that since she's not like so girly like Dina is, I feel like she'd know how to go ahead and put together an outfit with some pants, with some, you know, very trendy cleanse. She's trendy, but she's also got a sultry vibe. Um, and yeah, she wanted to give her that more modern look um, compared to like her Sims 2 days. 
and I think like she's like probably the most independent out of the two of them. Um, and I gave her like these like waves to her hair because I know that in The Sims 4, you know, of course she's got the waves in her hair and I kind of like that. I, I didn't really like her hair in The Sims 2, which is like because Nina was always my favorite. Like Nina was definitely like, my favorite in The Sims 2. I loved her look, but you know, she needed to be updated for 2024. So I gave her the waves and I don't know, she looks very natural and I love her makeup. It's very, it's like a bit more darker, but total glam for sure. Um, and yeah, like I just, I really like the Caliente sisters and they've honestly, they've made a mark in the Sims lore. Like, you know, they're always in the flings and they're always like chasing after men or, you know, their connections to the goth family and just, you know, just like their bold personalities. They're, they're always involved in drama and we love drama, you know? It's probably why I love playing them so much or like having them around because they are full of drama and I just, just love that. Um, so yeah, I feel like The Sims 4, you know, they reintroduced the Callie and sisters, but honestly, the EA didn't capture the same essence as, you know, The Sims 2 versions. So, you know, today's look, I'm just like, you know, giving them a mix of their original looks, but also just like a fresh updated vibe. Um, and yeah, um, but there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed the makeover uh, for the Caliente sisters. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me give them a new look. Um, let me know in the comments down below how I did and which makeover was your favorite, whether it was Nina or Dina. And if you have any recommendations for, or not recommendations, but have any suggestions um, for other Sims I should give a makeover to, then definitely let them, uh, can I speak? <laughs> definitely let me know in the comments um, section down below. And I might even try to give them my own refresh, just using base game stuff, the, what we have. Um, give them my twist of what I think th the refresh should have been. Also, I might give a makeover to Don. So Donnie Boy might be next, because Donnie Boy is a whole separate video. I was going to add him into this video, but Donnie Boy is... He's just his own person, you know? Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.